everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today we're going to be making Christmas tree sugar cookies decorated with royal icing. So let's get started. So to make the Christmas tree sugar cookies, you're going to need a batch of our sugar cookie dough, and you're also going to need um, some of our royal icing, and you're going to dye some of it green for the tree, and then I'm going to use yellow for the garland, and you can use any color that you want for that. You're also going to need to choose some of the sprinkles to decorate your Christmas tree. And to go along when we're rolling out the dough, you're going to need extra flour to flour your rolling pin, and you're going to need to flour your pastry mat. If you don't have a pastry mat, you can just do it directly right on your countertop. So I'm going to get my dough ready, and I'll be right back. So to make the Christmas tree sugar cookies, I floured my board, and what I also have to flour is the rolling pin. Just want to get it nice and covered so the dough doesn't stick. So I'm just going to start working from the inside and to the outside. And I'm looking for about a quarter inch texture or thickness of the dough. Now if you can't find one of these Christmas tree actual cutters, using a triangle will work just as well. So I'm just going to press down and then put them onto my parchment lined tray. Now just like our sugar cookie recipe, we're going to bake them for the exact same amount of time. So they're going to be in the oven at 400 degrees for about 8 minutes. So I'm just going to keep rolling out my dough, putting them onto the trays, and get them all ready for icing. So when they have come out of the oven, I will be back. So once your cookies are out of the oven and they have been cooled, what you're going to do is take your green icing and we're going to do what's called flood the cookie. And we have a video up that we'll put in the show notes that will show you exactly what flooding is. But pretty much what it is is you make this border around the outside of your cookie and then you fill it in with the thinned royal icing. So if you've got any gaps that are left, that's fine. What we're going to use is you can use a toothpick or I have this sharp pointy metal um, tip and I just use that to fill in any of the gaps. What I'm using right now is a number three tip from Wilton. So you'll see like the icing basically just works itself together but you can use it to touch up any areas that you want. So now with my yellow, which is the garland, and you can do any color that you want, I'm just gonna put a little bit at the top for the star, and then just starting at the side at the top, going over, attaching, over to the other side. You just wanna make sure you hit the side each time so that the icing attaches. Okay, now you can do a couple of different things. What I did on this one here was use just a dragee, a silver dragee, but I've also got some star sprinkles and they look kind of cute at the top of the tree. And then just any sort of um, light bulb like, I'm sure they even have light bulb sprinkles, just decorating along the garland. So I'm going to finish off all these cookies and then I'll be back to show you them when they're finished. So there we have it everybody, some sugar cookies made into Christmas trees and decorated with royal icing. So thanks for watching, I hope everybody has a very happy holiday and safe season. And remember, you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and share the video if you've liked what you see. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. See you next time.